Hi and welcome to RC Kicks. On today's show we go back to one of my most favourite cars from Tamiya, the classic Grasshopper. Now I did a speed build on this, if you haven't seen that video I'll put a link up here. But what I wanted to do is upgrade the suspension. So I found online in China someone who did a direct mod where you can put oil shocks on the chassis without actually adjusting the chassis which I thought would be a great thing to do to see whether it would be any good. They weren't expensive, but it took a long time for them to come and they finally, finally just turned up today. So I'm going to see if they're any good, are they worth it, and do they help the handling of the car. Um, shouldn't take too long to fit them, so we'll get the body off just to make life a little bit easier. And I will fit them and we'll see how we get on. Right, so I'll take the body off. Now, one of these things about this car is obviously the suspension is all uh, friction. There's no oil whatsoever, which makes it super bouncy, which some people love and adds to the, the fun of driving it, right? But uh, I thought it would be nice to see whether you can actually improve the car for very little money without hacking things around and going crazy. Because there's people that probably have these and would like it to handle it a little bit better but don't really want to go down the massive mod route. So we'll see if these are any good or whether they just don't perform as well as they should. So now the back look pretty straightforward, but the front a little bit different. I'm not sure exactly how you attach the front ones. Oh, this is awful. Uh, for this, this is what I need. This is a bit better. So let's get the shocks out and have a look and see what we think. Now obviously size uh, is an issue, so they've kept them pretty much exactly like they're supposed to be. Yeah. They do feel a little bit rough. I wouldn't say they're silky smooth. And the springs on them aren't very strong. I wonder if you could open them up and actually have a look inside. Let's see. I'm about to break it. No, yeah, there's oil in there. There's a lot of air in there though. It's more like mousse. So I think what I might do is I might change the oil in them and see if that makes much of a difference because what's in there right now just looks like a fuzzy mess of mousse of some sort. So I'm going to drain the oil out of them. So I'll do that. I'll change the oil and be right back. So I've changed the oil in the rear shocks. Now I went for a 45 uh, Team Lossy Racing oil that I had. It's a little bit thicker and they do feel a little bit soft, well, not softer, more absorbent. They're not what I class as precise. <laughs> I mean, obviously they're definitely a step up from just friction bouncy shocks, but um, yeah, they're not quite up to what you'd probably expect, but the size is right. And so let's see, and I'm, I'm guessing, I'm purely guessing at the moment, you know, I put 45 in there, but um, maybe that's a little bit too thick. Maybe I need to go a little bit thinner, but they do feel better. But then I, depends on the weight of the chassis and what, how much um, travel I get and things like that, but we'll try. So now I'm just going to retrofit to the rear ones and see what that comes out like. Also, you get the you get the uh, push through balls, and I've got two sets. I've got one that's a total ball with the two ends, and one that's got a flat end uh, with a ball, which would be more like attaching to a bulkhead. And I don't know which one you're supposed to put in. I honestly don't know. There's no instructions whatsoever. So I've guessed that the ball ends are on those ones and then they slot up in there. So that's kind of what I'm going with. Um, the bottom ones actually had their links in them already, the ball links in them already. Whereas I would have thought that the bottom ones would have that flat section, but I don't know how exactly it attaches to the top here. There's a split pin but I don't know whether you have to put the ball on and then attach the split pin or what, I don't know. I'll try and figure it out as I go. All right, let's get the rear suspension on and see if that actually makes any difference whatsoever. I won't bore you with me on doing it. I'll just cut straight back and then we'll have a look. I have no idea how this is gonna come out, but it's interesting to try and we'll see. Be right back. 
So they fit really well and they look great. Now, I think I've gone too thick. I think you need to go a bit thinner than that because when I look at the the bounce on it, and if I do it in slow motion, I'll show you some footage, it's not compressing the shocks there. There's too much resistance. So I'll probably drain them out and put something a little bit lighter, maybe a 30, I'll try a 30, see if that makes any difference. Um, it's difficult to tell. I'll do, actually I'll do the fronts first and then I'll see, but I think I'll put 30 in the front um, first and then I'll go back and change the back. We'll see how it how it interacts with each other when you when it jumps and lands. All right, I'll be right back. So there you have it. I've changed the rear shocks. I went for 30 uh, oil in the end, which is a bit softer. Um, so it gives it a little bit more, it was a bit too hard. Still fractionally harder than I'd like it to be um, to get full travel, but obviously there's a big difference between just dropping it like this and then jumping it and things like that. It feels much better. The front rebound is not that great. Um, I'm guessing it could do with slightly better springs. Um, it, you know, it works fine when you do a drop test on it and things like that, but when it's down low, but then when you drive it, as you go to accelerate, it, it takes the weight from the front of the car anyway, so it should be okay. I'd like to see a little bit more of a rebound from the front. Whether I can actually modify the springs that I've got here, maybe I'll try that to get a little bit more rebound. I could probably cut those springs uh, and they would be a little bit more substantial. So I might try that, but it is a big improvement. It does feel more stable and solid. So I'm really chuffed with that. So I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna cut these and fit them and see if that makes any difference. So I'll be right back because you'll all have these as well. Um, so it's probably worth me having an experiment because if it doesn't work, doesn't really matter for me, but if it does work, then you, uh, it's worth doing. So let me try that. I'll be right back. So I ended up cutting the springs from the original um, Grasshopper front uh, shocks and that made it a little bit stronger. It, I cut it the exact same length as the ones that came with them, but that was too strong. These are actually quite soft. So I then trimmed them down by, uh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, about oh, just over two thirds of a turn and that helped. I'd probably do the same again, still a little bit too stiff on the front, but for now I'm fine with that. It's, it's, it's much better, the car. So it's still bouncy a little bit, it needs a little bit more. I did it in slow motion, I'll put some video up here. Um, so they're starting to flex as it lands, but I think the, the tires are bouncing back too fast. It's not absorbing as much, so they're a little bit strong. So I'll probably trim them down a little bit more, but they're better than the original ones because the original ones aren't strong enough to bring the nose back to the correct position until you accelerate. So um, do I think it's a good upgrade for the money? Yes, um, it is, it's is a step up. Don't expect miracles. They're not huge big bore shocks. They're still very tiny. I also adjusted the oil in them. Um, there wasn't much oil in them in the first place to be quite honest with you, but I took that out and changed it. So that kind of helped a little bit. So it still needs a bit more fettling, especially at the front. The back I'm quite happy with. The back is pretty good. Maybe I'll go slightly softer on the on the oil, um, but there's not that much travel anyway. So bottoming, right, bottoming out is very, very easy to do. So at the moment, the front, in slow motion, it kind of about half the travel. So I can probably take the front springs down a little bit more, um, but I'll drive it and see what it feels like. So yeah, definitely an upgrade, not a massive one, but then what did you expect? Anyway, thanks very much. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget we're on Facebook, so go over and check out RC Kicks on Facebook. There's a Facebook group, group as well. And you can also find me on Instagram where I post a few pictures of what I'm currently working on. Thanks very much, bye bye.